Welcome to the highlights of day one of the second test between New Zealand and Pakistan from Seddon Park in Hamilton. And as it has been in this test series, it's a crucial toss in Azhar Ali. Having won the toss, decided New Zealand would bat first. It was an eventful first over. A four to begin the match. An edge put down by Sami Aslam. And Muhammad Amir was looking threatening as there was a bit of seam movement throughout the first hour or so. Deliveries like that were common. Leading edge through the offside, and Tom Latham got a good one. Sami Aslam making up for the earlier chance. Got a little easier as they went along. Muhammad Amir putting down a tough chance. Never easy, and you follow through as a bowler to get down low. Jeet Raval after an excellent debut in Christchurch in the first test. Looked increasingly assured, along with the skipper, Kane Williamson. A little bit of controversy with this dismissal. Umpire Simon Fry deciding not out. Azhar Ali straight upstairs. OK, let's go for a real-time snack, OK. He's all deciding there was a, the faintest of inside edges and then onto the elbow. What that meant was Ross Taylor came to the crease and was all aggression, struggling for form and with issues with his eyes leading into this test match. He struck the ball nicely and showed no, no issues with that. Short and wide again. It's a short boundary to that side of the ground. So when the rain came just before lunch, the New Zealanders had fought their way out of trouble, having lost Latham for naught first delivery, Williamson for a watchful 13. The two successful bowlers, Sahail Khan and Muhammad Amir, Jeet Raval has continued his good form to be not out along with Ross Taylor. Four bowlers used for Pakistan, but just the two wickets. One over only for Wahab Riaz, who was recalled into the Pakistan side for this match. So unfortunately, just 21 overs of play on day one. And therefore, we shall be back tomorrow for day two of the second test match. An earlier start, of course, half an hour earlier. So you can join us live at 10.25 a.m. on Sky Sports 1. First ball will be bowled at 10.30.